man never knows when he may be inclined to make a fool of himself about it. So the reality of studying architecture in lockdown is that We're back, we're back into a national lockdown in the UK as of Thursday the 5th of November. That means that shops are closing, people are panic buying, but please be considerate of the ones that are vulnerable. People's hairstyles are gonna go mad again. I got my hair cut today just so I can prevent what happened last time. <laughs> Gyms are closing, but interestingly, a lot of universities are staying open. So in this video, I'm going to be talking and giving you guys advice on how to study architecture during lockdown, whether your universities are staying open or closing. And just before we dive into the video, you see this here? It's smooth. And that is because I shaved it. And that might sound, <laughs> I might have over, 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 this month is November and the reason why I've shaved off my moustache and beard is because I'm participating in Movember. I'm going to be raising money for men's mental health, um, prostate cancer and testicle cancer. So if you guys could please, please donate down below in the link below, that'd be much, much appreciated. I'm gonna be raising as much money as possible, which is a fantastic opportunity for us all to raise money for men um, and support mental health. Back to the video. So just before we begin to talk about lockdown and studying architecture and the complications of studying architecture in lockdown, if you could go down below and hit that subscribe button, that'd be much, much appreciated. And if you could smash the thumbs up button, that'd be absolutely fantastic. So let's do it. Today I'm going to break down studying architecture in lockdown into kind of three points or three pieces of advice you guys can kind of take it however you want to take it but I'm going to be basically talking about three things throughout this video. The first one being opportunity. <laughs> Missed out the eye, my bad. Opportunity. I think with many, many negatives that are coming out of this situation, obviously many um, people around the globe are obviously grieving for their loved ones and they're obviously scared, they're isolated, that they're losing their jobs, unemployment is going crazy. I think it's also really important as creatives to maintain some kind of positivity and look at the opportunities that we have um, presented in front of us during this lockdown and being able to kind of adapt to um, studying in an environment that's going to be different to obviously studying at university. Just me, it's been sat inside all day, every day, driving me insane. So I think there's a lot of opportunity to be able to build in your digital skills, build in your way of representing your ideas and concepts um, through a different medium, obviously through a digital medium. You've got an opportunity to explore film and video and expressing your ideas and personality. You've got an opportunity to build in your presentational skills, um, your digital presentation skills through Teams or Google Meets or Zoom or whatever kind of your university is using. And there's a massive opportunity to be able to broaden your horizons. And I think the opportunities are right there in front of us as creatives, as practicing architects, to be able to develop and adapt to these situations. I think you need to be able to take that with both hands, grab onto that opportunity, because I don't think we're gonna have another opportunity anytime soon where you're gonna have to do reviews and tutorials through a digital medium. Um, and it's obviously just building up on your portfolio, your skills and your ability to adapt to different situations and hunt for the opportunities that we have kind of presented in front of us. Point, <laughs> point number two, being plan, prepare. Obviously there is um, many ways to do this. I obviously, I'm not gonna say it again because I say it far too much in my videos, but obviously I preach routine balance and those kind of things I think they're really important that come with planning and preparing um, obviously being in lockdown I think there might be even more distractions obviously being in an environment at home where you've got your family around you obviously other people might be furloughed you're going to be surrounded by people that you wouldn't normally spend time with during your time working at university and so you have to kind of adjust to those environments and think about how you're going to have those distractions and how you're going to work around those distractions how you're going to be able to plan and prepare working at home obviously planning in this situation where a lot of shops are closing um, if you need materials um, such as cardboard to continue doing models um, you need pens because you're running out of pens to do your drawings you need more tracing paper you need pencils 
Um, there's lots of things that you need to kind of plan ahead. So you need to be able to plan ahead to make sure that you have those materials and those pieces of equipment to be able to continue exploring ideas and building and developing on your work while studying at home. And I think that is something that's probably often overlooked in the importance in just making sure you have those materials at your access um, in case you won't be able to go anywhere for the next kind of four weeks or so. Planning and preparing, so you're making sure you're working towards your deadlines, obviously. Um, obviously, when you're at university, you might have these reviews and it's these constant reviews and reminders that you have work to be able to hand in. Obviously at home it's a little bit different, you might feel like you have that kind of disconnect from the university and you might not feel like you have those deadlines but essentially they are still there, nothing's changed. Give yourself weekly goals, give yourself daily goals, write a to-do to list at the start of the week, at the start of the day to be able to kind of get your mind thinking that you've got to work towards something. And I think those things are really, really important to be able to keep yourself disciplined and to make sure you're keeping on top of the work. Um, obviously, I'm working around kind of like a flexible routine to be able to take away the distractions of working and living at home. Uh, so yeah. Third and final point, honestly, I don't know what's wrong with things today. Third and final point, the reality. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, arrow. The reality of the situation. We can't change the circumstances, we can't change the fact that there is a virus going around and that universities are having to close, shops are going to have to close, you have, you literally have to work in a home environment. So I think the first step in kind of getting over that and working towards your deadlines is to think in your head that you have to get on with things, nothing is going to change and we have to continue working forward and you still have deadlines to reach, you still have a degree to work to, you still have a job that you need to work hard for. And I think that's the first step into kind of tackling this issue that we have at the moment in working and studying architecture in lockdown. And I think it's really, really important as creatives to adapt to the situation. Studying now is gonna be different to studying six months ago and studying a year ago. And in a year's time, it's gonna be different to studying now and working now. And I think it's really important as creatives and I think it's our role um, to be able to be in this to be able to be in this profession, to be able to adapt to these situations and adapt and evolve and grow and build and develop and learn. And essentially all of these situations that we have thrown at us and all these things that we're kind of trying to dodge and obviously the lockdown, the virus, and um, it's just all a bit mental at the moment. But as creators, I think this is our role to be able to adapt to these situations. And we have the opportunity to do that. One way for us to continue to adapt to these situations is to listen to our sponsor. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is a fantastic platform and community for people that want to continue to learn, discover, develop as creatives. During this time in lockdown, if you've got spare time with modules and with your work, this is a fantastic opportunity to be able to build on your current skills and be able to push your skill set further. And recently I looked at the class Find Your Style 5 exercise to be able to unlock your creative identity. Whether you're an architecture student, whether you're a graphic designer, whether you're an illustrator, whether you're a filmmaker, these five steps are really, really interesting ways to kind of explore and develop your own identity as a creative and understand your style as an individual. This course by Andy J. Peets was a fantastic course to be able to encourage you guys and to develop your guys' style as naturally as possible. And the first 1,000 people to hit that link down below in my description will receive a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So back to the video. We'll be back. I also think it's important for us, like I mentioned earlier, in buying materials and kind of planning and preparing. We also have to adapt to our home environment, set up a working space with plenty of natural light, get those bits, bits of trace and paper out on big tables if you have them. Obviously, I understand that a lot of people around the globe won't have that kind of working environment and they have to be working in kind of confined spaces in their bedrooms and stuff, which is obviously very, very difficult. Um, but I just think it's really important for us to maximise the space that we have. And with that being said, obviously we're not going to have access to workshops. We might not have access to the studio and obviously been interacting with our peers. So it's really important to continue calling our peers while studying at home. Day of rest. What a joke. Rest. <laughs> What an absolute joke. Making sure you're maintaining those interactions and you're talking to people about your work and bouncing ideas off one another. It's also important to be able to create little home environments where you can continue taking photos of models um, so it's not actually stopping you. You can do that by having bits of cardboard, laying white bits of cardboard down, having a kind of flashlight on it, 
taking photos of it so you've got this white background or black background and then it's easy to kind of Photoshop um, and to remove the background so you can get nice, lovely, professional photos of your models. And I think those are just main things that you need to be able to implement to be able to adapt to this situation and to be able to develop, continue learning, exploring and working towards our goals. And that is going to be a wrap on today's video, ladies and gents. I know I've spoken really quick <laughs> and I feel a little bit worn out. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Thank you to you guys for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button. If you haven't hit that thumbs up button, please hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Drop the mic.